Hey guys, this is Kevin from Kevin Fitness. I wanted to make a quick video and go over a very important nutrition topic that I get quite a bit of questions on. And that's basically the role of the different macronutrients within your body. Now, you might be asking, what are the macronutrients? Well, there's carbs, there's protein, and there's fat. Um, so, I'm going to go through them one by one, uh, discuss their role in the body and, and, and why they're important. So first you got carbs, right? Everybody knows carbs provide energy. They, uh, they're going to provide the fuel for, for your workouts. That's why it's very important to eat a uh, sufficient amount of carbs because your body is going to rely on carbs during your weight training sessions for the majority of its workout. Um, the energy systems that are in use when you're lifting weights do not rely on body fat anywhere near as much as they do on carbohydrates. So, when you get some carbs in your system, what happens? Well, they will either go directly uh, for use as energy at, at the moment when they're flowing through your blood, or they can be stored. Now, carbs do not go directly to store as body fat. I know that there is a, a lot of carb phobia out there these days, just like in the 80s, there was saturated fat phobia. Uh, totally uncalled for. Your body will store excess carbs as long as there's space within uh, within your muscles as muscle glycogen. So if your body, if your muscles are depleted, or excuse me, if your muscle glycogen is depleted, you know, from working out, from training, from doing cardio, whatever the case may be, um, your body will take those carbs that you eat and store them for use for the next time that it's required. Also, your liver stores uh, glycogen, and it can store up to 100 grams of glycogen. So, throughout the day, as the liver burns through its muscle, uh, excuse me, as the liver burns through its glycogen, uh, gets more carbs and makes more glycogen. So, uh, carbs do not instantly turn into body fat in any scenario. Uh, I know that there's also uh, a phobia of late night carb eating because oh, you're going down to sleep. Look, if there is space to store those carbs in your muscles or in your liver. Those carbs you eat at night before you go to bed are going to be stored as liver glycogen or muscle glycogen. They're not going to go directly to body fat. That, that's a myth. Um, and as you all know, carbs are not an essential nutrient. You, you do not need carbs in your diet. That is the uh, whole basis of the Atkins diet, really. You know, if you've got no carbs on that diet, you eat fat and protein. Uh, protein can be converted to, to glucose within the body so you don't need carbs. However, if you're gonna be training hard and you wanna optimally grow your muscles, you wanna um, eat a, a good deal of carbs. Because like I said previously, they're gonna fuel your workouts. Uh, if you're carb depleted and you go in there and hit the weights hard, you might run out of energy and you might not get a very good workout. So definitely eat plenty of carbs if you're a hard training individual. Uh, the next macronutrient I wanna discuss is protein. So we all know protein is used for muscle growth. We all know that. Um, but what else does it do in the body? It's also involved in tissue repair. It's involved in making new cells. It's involved in making hormones, such as growth hormone. That's, a, that's an amino acid-based hormone. Uh, involved in enzyme production. So there's a lot of metabolic functions uh, that your protein that you consume goes, goes into. Um, also, if needed by the body, uh, protein can be used for energy. As I discussed, your body will convert it into glucose and, and you can use it for energy. Now, um, it, protein is not the preferred um, energy substrate of your body. It's either carbs or fats. It, it doesn't really want to use protein. But um, it, it will if it has to. And uh, protein also, if, if you eat it in excess, can be converted over to fat, but not in, not in great deals. Not in great deal, guys. Um, it has to go through a number of metabolic processes before it can be converted into fat. So you're going to lose, you're going to burn through a lot of those cal excess calories just converting the protein into fat. So don't don't be too worried about eating too much protein. And the final macronutrient, of course, is fat. And like you guys, this is common knowledge. Fat's used for energy in the body. Um, it's also used for hormone production. Uh, such as testosterone, a, a lot of your uh, anabolic hormones are uh, fat-based, and specifically saturated fat-based. That's why it's very important to, to get enough saturated fat. 
Um, like I said, there was that whole phobia back in the 80s about not, not eating saturated fats. Satur there's nothing wrong with eating saturated fat. Um, obviously, anything in excess is not good. But you, you don't want to go to the other extreme and totally avoid uh, you know, anything like saturated fat. Um, fat is also involved in, again, tissue repair, creating new cells, since cells are made of basically fats and proteins or cell walls. And um, one thing about body fat, excuse me, one thing about fat is it's, most easy, it's the macronutrient most easily stored as body fat. Uh, much easier stored as body, body fat than carbs or protein. You know, if you have excess body fat, or excuse me, fat floating around your uh, bloodstream, and there's no metabolic functions that your body needs it for, and there's no energy, doesn't need it for energy, it, it, go, it can go straight to body fat and, and be stored. Um, whereas, like I said previously, carbs or proteins have to go through additional metabolic processes before it can be stored as body fat. So, my suggestion is, especially for heart training individuals, and you're, and you're worried about your physique, you're worried about your body fat percentage, is to not overeat on fats so much. That's going to lead you to probably putting on extra body fat more than if you overeat on carbs or protein. So guys, that was a quick little breakdown of macronutrients, protein, carbs, fats, and the roles in your body, and you know, a, couple, a couple tips there to base your nutrition on. I hope you found this informative. Uh, if, you, if you liked it, please do click like. If you have any questions, drop them in the comment below. And uh, please do subscribe to my channel. Until next time, guys.